guys check out this gorgeous weather today we're going to anderson performance as usual weather's not cooperating so uh yeah <laughs> oh man, well, dude, that drive was miserable. It's not that bad. Uh, this back road here. Well, you you'll, you'll see in the video. The whole road, right? The huh? whole back road. Dude, this, this is horrible. I had to like stay in the crown of the road. If not, I just go like this. Oh man, where's your car? Outside somewhere, he left it out in the snow. It's never been out in the snow before. <laughs> oh yeah, or the rain, right? The garage kept its whole life. Anyway, you see, it makes it awkward when you hold it up just like that. Yeah. Okay. Don't bother. They always on the road. More parts. To hold. Because I'm assuming you probably tuned it and you did it for higher, a little bit higher boot, and you just turned. <laughs> so, it responded very, very well to just the Just get mine to 501 and leave it right there. I 501. Just, I just want to say that I broke that yeah, left. Yeah. Let's look at the suspension, brakes, tires. No, uh, no, no, no. Suspension part. Let's talk to him. Oh, we already did. Floors, floors and tires. Tires. Floors and tires. Floors. <laughs> That's what that <laughs> Yeah, no, his 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 carpet is the only thing holding his seat inside. That's no joke. <laughs> if, you, if you wet it, especially in this temperature, it turns to ice and it's perfect. It's like a layer. <laughs> nice hard layer. No, but that's I think just the combo that you put on it. It's just it responded very well to the car. I don't know how the stock bottom end is holding the thirty pounds. No idea. It won't last forever. Yeah. It lasts for a whole year. What do you what would you rate them at? Like the bottom end. Like, what would you say it's like the li the limit on it? I don't know, low 20s is where I don't know. Cause that's what it looked like, 20 drinks. Like, hey, this is safe, it'd be good. His cam sensor tool. Cause he's a noob. Oh, oh shit, Cause I he's a noob. one of them too. Yeah. <laughs> Find something that it might fit the bill and yeah. We got it. So my hour estimate was perfect. <laughs> What's the point? Oh yeah, I meant to look to see if that, uh... AC compressor put a dent in my trunk. And it rolled. So this is what you're saying I need? Some of these? Some of, some of these? Yeah. And more power, but yeah. Oh, shut up. Okay. 
think he needs to change it. I don't know, man. You need to, you need to watch the, uh, the video that I have on the computer. I think he needs to change it. Both times until the thing lets go, I'm right next to you. So I, I think I, I think I have it. I'm on I'm on a soft tire and I like I'm on BFGs. What's your point? I'm on, <laughs> I'm on soft suspension. I didn't even bother. Well, I, I will give you that. I didn't even bother to, to put it on Ray. Yeah. That 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 was messed up. I didn't that was warm messed up. My tires and I was at 33 psi on the tires. That was messed up. Pretty much, he had no faith. So he just left it on comfort mode to race. And We're talking about his you. Hellcat. Well, it popped off the crossover pipe. Shut up. <laughs> it popped off the rim. No, dude, like we, you can hear, you can hear in the video. It sounds like a bottle of champagne. It just goes, yeah. pop. <laughs> and then the car sounds like a truck. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what? I was like, bro, if it's, if it's broke, why you why you Cause so, like. No, I had it pop off earlier with the RTV on it. So, cause I, I put some of that, uh, the gold RTV on the seams cause I could still hear it leaking. So I was like, okay, probably that since I didn't let it dry, I just slipped on it. And I don't know, on the way home, like, I was like, ah, I'm gonna let this cure. I just, I, I just didn't have faith on it after it popped off. This whole rear piece that you have no suspension parts on it, that's why it's giving me so much problems. Dude, that if I do the M9, he can, he's got like, he's telling me that he's got really good prices with a uh, Moser stuff. So I might have a Moser nine inch in there. That's good. I might have him do my suspension before. So anyways, just talk to Anderson. Uh, let him know some of the things that how I want it because I would like to have the, the E-dash over the, over the, whatchamacallit, over the rear view mirror. There we go. Time. Should see a little exit five mounted right there, and that, and done. Yeah. <laughs> I just bought mine. It's 150 bucks. Oh Jesus. Well, anyways, so we're leaving Andersons now, and we're gonna go grab a bike. Then why are you going know. after the Hellcat if you're happy? <laughs> because I gotta beat the Hellcat. But you ain't going to. I, I'm, I'm going to. You know those Mexican streets? <laughs> why don't you put, hey, put up a pole who thinks that with your tires and no sus and stock suspension, right? On the rear. On the rear can beat a Hellcat. Put a pole up and when it, and you're in your I'll, I'll do it. It's I'm going. Gonna make, there's gonna be one yes. It's gonna be him. That takes no. and everybody else is gonna click no. <laughs> oh, oh and I and I'll be on tire. I won't be on street tire. I'll be on the tire. Okay. Mickey Thompson. What tires are on the old guy? Yeah. What size? Uh, Pirelli. Yeah, 275, 40, oh, that's 20. A wide patch already. Yeah, but I mean it's it's on a nine and a half inch wheel, so it doesn't really spread them out. With the uh, Movado 18 by 10 wheel and with uh, the Mickey Thompson 305 uh, radial. Gotta make a better angle. If I'm on a roll, I don't need them. But if I'm on my dig, I will. Yeah, yeah. So yes, I'll get a set of tires just to dig and, and you know and blow the doors off. Yeah, just to go ahead. You, I told you, you have to have a 10 second car Look, to get in front of that car. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say this. If I beat you, if I put any length in between the, the Hellcat and you, in the video I'm gonna put bus lengths. Okay, I'm gonna put little tiny buses, short buses, but I put buses in. Oh, it's gonna take a short <laughs> bus for you to beat that car. <laughs> I'll put little buses, but I'll put buses in. I'm saying, you're just making... You're making and then to talk more about power. The train horns, and you're gonna be like, <laughs> you're making more power. You're making more power than you did before on the same crappy tires, right? And you weigh four thousand pounds. I only have six six hundred pounds weight on you, and that's four thousand without you being in the car, right? Yeah. So then, well, no, 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 that's four thousand with me in the car. Okay. I'm so two eighty. Then, then I'm four. And then mine is at forty eight hundred. 
And when I come and run, I'm like, I'm just gonna, like I did at the, on the highway. I don't like to like 3,500 Yeah, you gotta take off all the, all the runs and all the, like, hey, it's aerodynamic. Sure, wait, wait. Power wait, man, power wait. Uh, um, that's the only thing. Like I, I've always said, you can get on stock. If I'm on stock tires and you're on a better tire, you can get me out of the hole, and then I would have to try to catch you. That that would be it. But if we're doing it over 50, I think like that's the thing. 50 though. degrees. That's it, dude. I do not trust that car going 130 miles an hour. What? Have you did you driven your car 130 miles an hour, right? I don't know. I can't tell because I'm only says 85 speed limit. I'll let you know. You look at the law. Uh, you don't have a fire alarm. Never mind. Hey, but remember, I'm doing uh, coil overs. My tires are rated for that. Like I've gone pretty deep in the speed. I don't know how deep, but I've gone pretty deep in there, and it sits pretty steady until the window pops. <laughs> the window pops open, so I have to like lower my window so it doesn't completely crack. It sucks the window out. He doesn't have the blowout clip. Yeah. So. On the top of the window, there's every, a little clip. But every time I'm getting, I'm passing the trap. At the end of, of the four miles, my shit is open. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that lets me know that I went over 116 for sure. Right? Like so, if I get tires for this car, I they need you to do it. Right? If you want him to laugh, yeah. No, I mean, you don't need to have a like, If you get a good, con like if you get an extra set of tires, right? Yeah. Just an extra set, and you want to just do it when you go out yeah. and have fun, you can have an 8-inch or 9-inch like, rear. But there's so many 15-inch wheels that are 15 inch wheels that are make sense to just buy that way. So get rid of, get rid of two of my rims and get the 15 by 10 and then get it. Or you can just have the, or you can just have your the, the tires you have now, the wheels the tires you have now, yeah. and then whenever you want to go play with the ball, yeah. you can have an extra I've got extra wrench with the left hand, I've got that plug hang up. You don't want to do that because the wheels would be like 45 pounds each. I mean, you don't have to cut, that's what I'm saying, if they're like, what are they, 8 and a half? 8 inch. 8 inch? 8 inch stock uh, yeah. right now. Just run some, you can run like a 255 or a, even a 275, but I would run a 255, like a make it on Yeah, but it would be a lot better than just any other car. The, the needles. Power power, that's it's not going to Yeah, the, the thing is that you're not running, like, makes it obviously like, you're not going to run in a, in a, when it's raining. Like, when it's wet, like when it's wet out, you're not going to be raining. So, so like if you get a wet patch or something while you're driving down the road, then you should be able to get yourself. All right, so you take your camera. Put that question up if you don't believe me. What? There's plenty of people that run like like their drag radials through through rain. They just go careful. No, I know. Now if you're going through heavy heavy rain, you gotta be kind of. But no, like I'm going based on my experience. The needles of five five five. So Those suck in the in the rain, any type of rain. Okay. Like the road is wet, and my Chevelle, you tap the gas, just move forward, and it'll start going sideways. Every one of them. So, and with, even with these BFGs, now that I have the new torque converter, I have that issue. So. Well, those tires are almost bald too. They weren't bald when they first got them. They got the torque converter. They bald the very moment you left Philly. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You know how often that's gotta happen there? No, dude, like, he, 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 like, I asked him, like, so how long, uh, what is the breaking period where he's like, oh, it's already broken in, just get on it, actually. And you can see it in the video, I'm just like, <laughs> right at it. <laughs> it. It does, right? And then when you're gonna run, right? Because you're gonna run somebody, you're obviously not gonna run at like 30 PSI, right? So you just look at the water, I think you just drop it at. I like like 18, 19 PSI in there. So yeah, smush it. Yeah, yeah. smush it out and then you have some sidewall, you have some brake wall, and then it helps that patch get really good on the road. But you can probably still do that with that FD suspension. No, because the way that these tires, they break here. So you got When you lower them, they, they roll here on the side, right? Like the, like the regular tires, they have like a brake on the front. Yeah, these are drag So they still have the metal band. Yeah. Like a minimal amount. So you can 
be able to. Uh, the regulated one, the, the wall is a lot softer. Like when you, if you have the tire off the rim and you have it side by side and you grab the bead, the BFG and any other tire, normal tire, it's stiff. It's stiff to pull. It kind of like. 32. It's springy, really springy. The the drag one, they're really soft. Like you can you can like move the bead around. It, it's hard to explain, That's but exactly it's a lot. The wall is a lot softer. It feels like it's a lot thinner too. No, I mean they have an M and H. Uh, they make. Uh, I like Nitto, but there's different ones. There's like hard oil. Oil makes a good tire. So it all just depends on. No, it depends how long you want the tires to last. Yeah, well, that's just it. I want it to last a while. A while. A while. Because I'm doing a bunch of burnouts and soft. I'm going to rip that tread and get it off. Then I'll be buying the tires so, right away. To do a burnout in this tire, to warm them up, it takes a lot less than these tires. So, essentially, you can do a small burnout and warm them up and get them nice and close to the and again, so you're doing it on the street. Yeah, street is dependent on the road how it looks. Like if a street has been where we ran, where it's just run, run all the time, there's tire down there, or then it helps you get sick. And it's just a regular street. And it's On street tires, it's nice, man. You're, I'm telling you, dude. Because you boost up. You when you lined up next to me, you were like boosting up. So you're you're already putting all like your best thing would probably be not to boost up to be able to go. Well, no, because then what, hold the, the brake and give it a gas. Yeah, to get to get that torque burst. So let's flash up. The thing is that if I don't do that, when I give a gas, there, I, I can't pedal, I can't throttle fast enough to make up for not boosting up at the beginning. Oh, you ease into it to go. Okay, let me... When I do that, what happens is my power goes from this to this that quick. When I boost up, I already know that I'm kind of like here and then it's going to go like this. So if I launch, not boosting up, if, if I don't build a little bit of boost right off the go, I'm, I'll move forward and then it'll blow the tires off. what you just said, at least this season. With the uh, tight torque converter, you're going to do, you're going to roll. The, yours is going to look more like this. If you put the higher stall, it's going to do this. Which is the issue that I have. Mine, yeah, that's the issue I have. Like, his is gonna look like this going up. Like, it's gonna be up here already because you're already at the RPM and at the horsepower that you need to launch. The only difference is if he doesn't have tire, this thing's gonna fucking spike because you're gonna spin him, spike, you're gonna let off, spike, let off, spike because you're gonna try to pedal it. So, but the thing is, the torque converter is letting you put boost up to as much as you need to. You're gonna boost probably like at five, which is crazy on the street. But you're, you're like on five, and then all you do is when you release, you're just gonna spin the tire. You're just spinning because you don't have because you don't have the tire in the right setup to go. Now, what I saw was that like I would launch with, if I don't if I don't boost at the line. It'll go and then it'll blow the tires off. If I boost at the line, as I'm, uh, it blows the tires off as I'm moving, but it's not like it doesn't try to go sideways. The tires start chirping. Then the scary thing with the new torque converter is that it does that all the way in third gear. So when it shifts from third to fourth, it's still, it'll still chirp. The tire. That's because, you, because it's using every. It's using the power to put it down, so you don't have the, the tire to do it. Yeah, that's it. If you had tire, though, you could move, but they do not have tire. Well, you would need a turbo. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, this guys. No, I think your turbo is gonna. The, where you're lacking on your turbo is on the top end. Actually, I think that the turbo has more top end than the 6262. 
Not at 30 pounds. I don't know if it was a Gen 1 or a Gen 2. Not at 30 pounds. I don't need to go that high. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, that might be the whole reason that they'll get to blow the head gas without out. Because it was self limiting. Small turbo. Yeah. Everybody was worried that I was going to blow that, that head gasket because I didn't have alkyl. At 16 pounds? We didn't know what we were to set at. It was oh. not even a boost yeah. gauge. Oh. It didn't have a boost gauge or anything, so we never really got into it. Like, Who knows what it even that? I never asked Billy if he turned it up or turned it down. Or we wouldn't turn it down. He probably, he probably tried to turn it up. He's like, that's all I can get out of it. He, he did. He said he tried to kick it up. He even closed the waistband. Did they have the electronic in the stock one? Had the stock gate? That's actually, that's a, uh, you asked my question? These are questions that you need to ask. Dude, when I get there, you start asking questions. And then all of a sudden, you take over. And I take over? <laughs> how, did, how did I do that? You just took Billy to the back room. I don't know what you did. I don't know what you did to Billy in the back room, but you just you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it only took a couple of times. He comes back all smiling, you're like sweating. You're like, oh. Well, he comes back all smiling because I just gave him two grand. <laughs> It was probably 12. The 12's not like a blower head gas. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine that they probably had it, especially since it has the, it had the stock wastegate. But it had an external boost controller? Mm -hmm. The little RJC piece. Uh, so it all depends on you know, was the wastegate cut off and was it just like in the last... Like, we don't know. We don't know anything about it. Oh, okay. Because I was never able to run it. I was like, there's probably rust inside well, it. Everybody told me, don't run this car until you get out of here. The first time we got the car, they had a race chip in it. A uh, pit bull on, right? No, it was, it was a turbo tweak, uh, like an actual race chip from turbo Somebody tweak. put a pit bull on, and I was like, oh man. So my, my timing was way out. Dude, it was 26, 23. 26 degrees on low gear. And you wonder why the car is running so weird. I mean, when I when I test drove it, dude, like I took it around the block and it took me, what was it, not even five minutes to be, to be like, wow, this engine's strong. <laughs> it was because of the amount of timing it had. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Because like you'll get nothing blue with that the way that was set up. Going back to what Billy did, oh, there was no turbo. The turbo was your failsafe per se, because the turbo was limited. <laughs> All I got. Because with that much timing, man, I was like, oh shit. And then we we took that chip out and dug down the sixty. 60 PSI injector plus Alki chip. So then we put that in, and then it was so much, it ran so much. Someone said something about that. I trust Billy with that, with his work. I was like, hey, yeah. No, but he he, he wants to know like what what was what was it at before. That's that's what he's. I'm just curious. Like like I said, I like to learn. Yeah. So like, what was it set at when when I gave it to you? He might not yeah. even tell us. No, I don't think, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't think, think it would have bothered him. Yeah, I don't think they lost. Like, let's see what we can get out of it. Did it run? Did everything look safe? Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, All right, that's it. Well, it'll be different when I get it back to the next one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. New engine, new trans, new turbo. Yeah. 
big ass inner like, cooler. Yeah, that's right, 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 are they the are they the rear the proper? rear it should be good. Uh, on this. I would get worried when you take it to a track, which is that's my other fear, taking to the car to the track. Blowing the differential right at the What? Oh is that? <laughs> taking the car to the track. So that's the point of building the car like and just not taking it to the track. Okay, okay, he will never put that rear hand up again. <laughs> He's always going to have an excuse why he didn't take it down. Ah, because I don't have the rear pad. Dude, I'm gonna build it. That, dude, I went there myself to years. find out the I'm turning around. I'm going to come out with a template on my car and have a hand in the So here you go. No, if, if I do it, I'm going to do it right. So, and I. Motherfucker, fix, get your get your welder fixed. Now I'll I'll do it. There's there you go. Wrong with my welder, I just need gas. Uh, get gas. Okay. <laughs> For what? He's, He's gonna get gas. Up. So then all you gotta do is like. Uh, I got the sheet metal sitting at the house. I'll get a bead roller so we can make it, some nice beads on it. Oh my god. Look, I'm gonna put. Look, next time we run, next time we race, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'll be on street tire. I'll put all the car seats in there, and all the baby car seats in there, and I'll throw all the luggage in the back. And then, so when I pass you, I'll be like, hey, I'm just. In comfort mode, right? Comfort mode. <laughs> yeah, and I'll put some more groceries back there, some dog food and everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah, this guy. Run the AC in my bended seats and everything. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the other thing that might be slowing you up is that 200 amp motor here. Why? Because that's putting a lot of resistance into that motor. If anything, like the max that can rob is 15 horsepower. 15 or 15? 15. Because you can do like. <laughs> he, he, he knows this. Power, uh, power, what is power? Power is watts over what? Over amps. Over no. amps. Amps is voltage with watts. What's your pen? Again, but you said you're okay with losing 15 horsepower. With like, a bolt on. No, 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 no. That's a top, like that's a peak. It's using all 200. All 200, which is not. So... It's, it's, it's so why max. Do you need, why do you need why do you have it? Yeah, why do you have it anyway? For when it, it's required. I do plan on uh, doing the air system for the train horns and then the, the amps for the sub. I have all of this just waiting to go in, so. The train horn. That's only going to add like 30 pounds to the yeah. car. Oh, no, more than that. And the amps? Like it's like 70 more, pounds. Right? Shit, man. It's going to be coming in at like 4,200 weight. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna go find some aluminum. Go put some outlet, put an outlet, put an outlet. Oh god, here we go. I'm gonna go find some aluminum 10 inch rims. Light in the rear. So you can. That's my, uh, that's the other thing. Like, you lose so much weight with those rims that I'm considering those, although I hate the way they look. But yeah, I'm not too happy with the way they look either. What? Which ones? The, the original. The aluminum replicas. I just I don't like how the original look. But you know that. I like, like the way they look. I do like mine. I like my, my. I traded away the uh, Hurricane ones off the T type. I didn't like that, and everybody's telling me, oh man, those are so much lighter. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't need the look though. I had a set of those on drag radio forever. And then I, just, I gave them away to that. Like, they reminded guy. me of the Dukes of Hazard car. I'm like, this is a freaking dodge. The funny thing is I was looking at uh, Spectator Drag Races the other day on YouTube and there was a Dodge Charger on the Spectator Drag, on the track, running, you know the Spectator Drag, right? Two guys will go, two random guys will go around the track. And like, I'm looking at the wheels, it's like, are those P-type wheels? I had to like, go look it up, like, oh, they come with those. Yeah, they come with them, yeah, they're, they're called hurricane rims. So, yeah. No, but I didn't, I didn't like them. And that guy drove to, from Detroit to get them. So. Oh man! Damn! I gave mine, I gave mine for fifty bucks. Shh! <laughs> Sold for fifty bucks? Yeah. This guy drove down from Detroit, brought me five rims and tires, four brand new center caps. I gave him one hundred fifty bucks and my four tires. Wow! <laughs> four rims. I just want him out of my house. I was just like. 
Did I put them all over here? <laughs> <laughs> LOL. Uh, so anyway, we've been here talking uh, for I don't know how long. What time is it now? We got here about 30. No, they open at 11. So right yeah, right yeah, right at 11. So we got here at 11 and we've been talking cars the whole time. Uh, I should have recorded some of this, but whatever. Uh, We're talking about how Emilio needs a bigger turbo. 62-66 would be perfect for his car. <laughs> yes. <not enough. laughs> According to this guy, I need tires and a turbo, but I'm happy with the way the car is. But we'll see. So we're leaving five guys, and now these guys are talking about Ford motors here. <laughs> My uh, girlfriend's cousin is a Ford mechanic. Uh -huh. Are you guys going to go back in the back of the SUV and give, you, give each other oh, reach yeah, arounds? From Terminator? The, her, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's got all-wheel drive, so then I'll smoke your Buick as well. Oh, <laughs> God, this whole day has been just <laughs> ragging on me, ragging on me. It just should have never got us together, man. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, I told him, like, he, he was going to like you. <laughs> But yeah, and now, we're, now we're gonna go race the SUVs. <laughs> well, if you got Emilio on your in, in your car, man. <laughs> Thanks. But I've got a cam. Look at that exhaust. Oh yeah, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four cams. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, oh.